In a study by Dr. Larry Rosen, professor at California State University, conducted a study where students were observed studying for a 15-minute period where they were told to study on something important. What he found was that students generally started to lose focus after about 3 minutes. And other people say for an average human, it takes around 47 seconds to lose focus. Wow, instant gratification and scrolling has really destroyed us. We can't get any work done. We're literally procrastinating. We get bad marks. We don't finish our work. We don't get good results. And it's affecting our life and we hate it. I used to write in my journals how I hated myself after the end of the day because I couldn't get any work done. I literally told myself how much of a loser I was because I didn't get any work done. And now we shouldn't be speak bad about ourselves, but it is kind of true. I mean, it's affecting our mental health because we're not getting our work done. This is bigger than just not finishing a work and getting a 50 on a mark. That's horrible, but this is affecting more than just that and as muslim people we're supposed to be the best at exactly what we do we're supposed to be excellent at whatever we do so we want to get this attention back but first we have to understand that we're not going to get this attention back until we figure out why it's happening why do we go on instagram two minutes or three minutes into a homework assignment or why do we go on instagram two minutes while doing some important task is because of the single thing called dopamine. It's a survival bias for us humans. It is a reward system for our brains. Every time we finish work or every time we do a task, we do it to earn this reward called dopamine. Like finishing homework. After finishing this homework, we're gonna have an influx of a peak of dopamine where dopamine will increase. Or after scrolling, we also get dopamine. Homework and scrolling gives us both dopamine. But why do we feel so sick after scrolling for 30 minutes? It's because there's a difference between instant dopamine and, it and delayed dopamine. You see, instant dopamine are the activities that we don't really have to work that hard for that we can get right now. Like I can go ahead and listen to some music astaghfirullah, but I can get dopamine out of this. Or I can sit down and do a very hard homework assignment. The same dopamine that I can get from doing a homework assignment, I can get the same thing from scrolling. So now you understand why most people scroll is because whenever people just start doing homework, they don't want to sit through it and they can get the same thing from scrolling. So they end up scrolling. This sounds like a good thing, right? I mean, we can get the same dopamine until you realize that instant dopamine will completely destroy the rest of your day like literally bro like the moment we stop scrolling we feel really really bad and we feel just sick of ourselves it's because we have to understand what a dopamine baseline and a dopamine peak is so the dopamine baseline is where we are right now this is our dopamine baseline we're just chilling you know, it's just a flat line. And whenever we do a dopamine intensive task like scrolling or doing homework, our dopamine will hit its peak pretty much when we just get the most reward from scrolling or when we get the most reward from doing homework like finishing a task. That's when our dopamine will go up. You see, when it comes to a delayed dopamine, whenever you do a very hard intensive task, your dopamine will go below its regular baseline where we at right now. So it's going to feel really hard at the beginning and that's why your homework feels hard at the beginning and that's why you want to quit. But then after, once you pretty much finish your homework, your dopamine will go on a full on peak mode. And that's why after homework, you feel like the champ, you feel like the king because you just done a very hard intensive task and your mood stays really happy. You feel really good for the next few hours or even the, the rest of the day. Compared to instant dopamine or like scrolling, you know, your dopamine actually jumps up really high. When you do an instant dopamine, it's instant for a reason because it instantly peaks your dopamine. But when it comes to instant dopamine, your dopamine baseline will decrease. And it's not just going to decrease, it's going to decrease below the baseline baseline you were at at the beginning when you started doing your homework and because it goes so down that is the reason why you feel like absolute sick after scrolling is because your dopamine baseline just lowered now when you do two plus two we can understand why we can't sit through work we're overstimulated think of your baseline as just the initial motivation of your day if your baseline is low and you try doing a work your motivation is too low for you to do the work and that's literally it if your baseline is high and your motivation is high you're gonna want to feel like doing the work because your motivation is high so the reason that you lose focus after three minutes is because your body is so used to instant dopamine that it just wants to get grab the quick dopamine because as i said when you do hard pain work and delayed gratification activities like doing homework at the beginning your dopamine actually goes down and your body hates that your body was craving the dopamine so the way to instantly get that instant peak is to do something like scrolling. Okay, okay, so now since we know how dopamine works, how do we train our minds to sit through work? It's more simpler than you think. All you have to think about is your dopamine baseline. 
As we know, the moment you start doing an instant gratification activity like scrolling, your dopamine is going to go up. But then your dopamine is going to go down right after a few minutes after. And that's going to decrease your initial baseline of the day. But the moment you wake up to the moment you scroll right after that scrolling activity, your baseline slash motivation is actually going to decrease. Meaning the more instant gratification activity you do, the more your motivation decreases throughout the day to the point where when it comes to doing your homework, your motivation is so low that you just don't want to be doing the homework anymore. It's really simple. So in order to flip this around is first increase your dopamine baseline and the way you're going to be doing that is by keeping it like that from the morning you wake up you want to first write that on a journal what are some of the instant gratification activities i do for example i wrote down that i used to go ahead and watch a lot of youtube videos while working i used to put things on the background while i'm working even though i knew it was a distraction and once you've acknowledged your mistakes that is the first step to beating your mistakes and that's the first step to fixing your mistakes second what you want to be doing is delay these as much as possible we want to focus on delay gratification and skip the instant gratification until later on in the day. Because as we know, this instant gratification will ultimately lower our motivation. So whenever we do get around to doing delayed gratification work like homework, it just won't work out. <laughs> this is where we get to prioritizing our day. Make sure that all of your important work while your baseline is on a decent level and your motivation is on a decent level, get all of your work done while your baseline is high enough. So when it goes down after doing this instant gratification activities like scrolling, you're just not gonna wanna do the work. And again, that doesn't give us an excuse. The successful people will get the work done regardless. The people who actually care about doing their work will finish their work regardless. There's no work around. The work has to be done no matter who you are, no matter what you do, no matter how many productivity hacks and YouTube videos you watch. You can watch a thousand of them. The work does not care. The work cares for it to be finished. But either way, if your motivation is low, it's going to be harder to get the work done. But this is the key. You want to keep your baseline high enough so that whenever you do get around to doing work, your baseline is not too low to fight off the work. You can just get straight to work. Even after all of this, you still can't get to work. You're not motivated to get to work. You don't have the urge to get to work. It's because your baseline is just way too low and you're literally overstimulated. So what you need to be doing is getting on a dopamine detox. You have to cut everything out. Maybe do the 80-20 rule where you have 20% of the instant gratification activities so, and cutting out 80% of them. You have to cut them out. It's called a detox. There's far better videos to explain what a dopamine detox is. Uh, with the time I have, I'm not going to be able to explain it because I'm about to head to bed. But inshallah, I'll link a video on dopamine detox or you can just search up people like Hamza or Iman Gaji make some good videos on dopamine detox and they make it very frequently. So go check those out as well. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, great. Uh, if you have any, if you need any help with some improvement, drop some uh, things down below. I'll definitely get back to you inshallah. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.